this Friday, and we're at September 11th, 2020, in the time, 9.25 a.m. Central Time. Remember the importance of this day. I think we're all paying very strong attention to it. 19 years ago, I remember where I was. I was sitting in my office, uh, and I was looking at the TV, and I'm looking at what's going on, and I thought a small plane had hit the, the towers. And I, I said that because, ah, who would think something like that? And of course, we all know it changed the world at that moment, similar to what our pandemic is doing. We have another thing to be worried about. But as we look at the stock market, you know, you're getting crazy moves. We, I think we've moved so far, 1% every day of the month of September. So you're getting quite a bit of volatility in the moves. The euro currency today is trying to regain its footing from the gains it lost yesterday after a strong rally. Dollar index a bit lower. We're not seeing too many trends show up there just yet. Dr. Copper has got its footing back. I was wondering why it got under $3 a pound yesterday if the economies are doing better, which I think they are. Gold and silver, still this crazy oscillation back and forth. Energy prices, well, if you're taking a look at tankers, you're seeing tankers all over the world being now leased to store oil. There's another glut hitting you right now. Word is the United Arab Emirates uh, were pumping about 600,000 barrels more a day in August than they were allotted. So does that mean there's something amiss going on there? Grain price is still fairly strong. Bonds and notes just sort of flat here, not giving you much of a move one way or the other. The conference board's U.S. online help wanted index came out at 105.1 versus the 103.4 in uh, June. I don't know why they compared it to June, but that's what they did. The CPI numbers up stronger. Now, they're saying that used cars was one of the big elements here because as people are going gradually back to work, there's a car development away from public transportation because of the pandemic. Interesting that they talk about that, but as you can see what's going on through here, I included wage uh, prices, what they're doing in my written update, and I included a graph today from the National Labor Board, so we'll have it uh, for my subscribers some word on that as well. I want to remind you all what I do first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, I typically am out there recording for you and reviewing 40 charts, but I start you off in the morning news for my subscribers with what's going on in Europe, if anything is going on there, Asia, and of course bring you back to the U.S. for the U.S. reports. Today, admittedly, a very light news day at this point, not a lot going on. But the idea here is that in the morning, I've already had the opportunity to see the evening trade. I'm back in with what I think should be done. I give you specific, buy here, sell there, why to do it. If there's fundamentals at play, I'm gonna bring in and talk to you like I did uh, two days ago when I noticed in the evening that in Germany, wild boar had caught African swine flu, put hogs up in the US, limit up uh, by the end of the day but you're getting that news first thing often before you're hearing it from other people. I cover all these different sectors in a way that's easy to review. There's a slide bar on the bottom. Let's assume you wanted to just go to the metals. Bang, you're right there, not wasting your time. The introductory price, think of a cup of Starbucks. Yeah, that's what I want to compare it against. 30 days for $7.95, no contract commitment. You decide if you want to continue with it or not. How do you do this? To find out more, go to our website under the word research. I'm I Rapstein. I'll see you today at the end of the day with my market reviews. Take care now.